Welcome back to Goldburner's Travels. First off, I'd like to apologize for my absence the last few months. I've been feeling a little under weather. Felt like the walking dead. But I want to share with you all a little meme that I found on the old Facebook that said Texans only do road trips within Texas. And I was like, yep, pretty much. Even though I have gone to Oklahoma and I also did go to Missouri. But there's so much to see in Texas, and I don't want you all to miss a thing. With it being summer, I have something a little special for y'all. For the past few weeks, it's been over 100 degrees. Now, for my friends who use the metric system, it's been about a little over 37 degrees Celsius. So what I plan on doing is putting my kayak on top of my car and taking it over to Eagle Mountain Lake. Usually when I do kayaking, I go over to Grapevine Lake. But I've never been to Eagle Mountain Lake, and I thought you all might enjoy it just as much as I will. Well, she's all loaded up, ready to go. And you know, nobody can strap down a load without doing one th other thing. That ain't going nowhere.
We're here at Eagle Mountain Lake. Now, as you notice, I usually tend to take the back roads. I do not like to be on the highway with my kayak on my roof. But we've made it here. Let's go offload our kayak and get ready to get on the water. Well, I'm not going to be able to get my kayak out of here. I guess I'll have to take a little bit of a trek. Go that way. I think there's a boat ramp that I can get down on. There's just no way I'm going to be able to get the kayak down there. Now, funny thing about this whole thing. So I heard there was... And that was my little job. I heard that there was alligators. try this again shall we now funny thing about Eagle Mountain Lake I was told is there was alligators around here let's hopefully we're not gonna stick around for lunch let's see if we can get get to the boat dock. I've already had to drop the kayak once That's one way how to get there. One step and sit down. It is definitely a nice calm day out here on the lake which is good especially when in a kayak choppy but there's choppy's waves man you have to fight to get going and not be put off course pontoon boat with slide on it well, isn't that just neat water's nice and cold Since I've only done one kayaking video, I'll reiterate. Basically, all you need to start doing is put your paddle in and pull back. Do it on both sides, go forward. 
Now, if I do it on the right side all the time, I'm going to turn left. If I do it all the time on the right, excuse me, if I do it all the time on the left, I'm going to turn right. Now, a little tip and trick about kayaking, if you're going and you want to stop and you want to kind of turn, I'm putting in my right pedal. I'm going to stop and go right. Same thing with the left side. If I want to slow down, let's get going here. Slow down, I'll turn to the left. I'll just put my left paddle in. See, I'm still going. Put my right paddle in to turn back. Now, of course, as you can probably tell, if we're here at a marina, I thought it would be the best place to kick off. I have never been to Eagle Mountain Lake and this is quite nice. So I don't know too much about Eagle Mountain Lake. As I said earlier, supposedly there's a couple gators roaming these dang waters. There was a video about it about two months ago. Do believe this lake? I do believe this lake was built. It's man-made built uh, lake. It was built in the 1930s, maybe 40s. I could be completely wrong. But I think next time we'll just take a find a boat dock somewhere. Oh, another kayaking tip. When you got big boats around, something bigger to you, making waves in the deal, you want to turn your nose of your kayak to the waves. So, so you don't capsize. I've had this kayak for a long, long time now. It has been through thick and thin. And it's only a little leaky in the bottom. Just joking. This is a Sun Dolphin Aruba 10. It's a 10 foot kayak. And as you can tell, it's a sit-in kayak, not a sit-on. There is a two difference one. Basically, a sit-on is basically like a wakeboard, a little bit with a seat. Now, as you can tell, my sit-in, I'm sitting inside of it. So, my feet... <laughs> did not see that boat right next to me. nice little boat Let's see if I can't turn get it these guys are so nice around here so I'm gonna let him pass because I know he's about to open up the speed open up that throttle and I'm gonna have some wakes to deal with Here we're getting a little bit more choppy. Hopefully I don't get turned over. Sitting here, enjoying the water. Wait a minute, is that a gator? Ah, I just got you. No gator. I think there's too much activity around. But I've always come to find going outside, getting out of the house, 
put down electronics for a while. Always do does a person good. I mean, when can you just come out, enjoy nature, just to relax? Cause I did this on a whim today to be, to be honest guys, I didn't plan any of it. I just said, huh, you know what? I'm gonna put my J racks on my car today. I'm gonna put my kayak out. I'm gonna go to a new lake today. Now here I am. Now it's been a few years since I've taken my own kayak out on a lake. Cause usually it is a lot of work to do so but you know i come to find out was you know i was overthinking it of course it's re relatively easy to get going took me a couple of hours yes but we're now here just sitting on the lake paddling along now we'll see how long i can do this and how tired i'm gonna be you know maybe i need to tell myself you idiot Take a rest. Now, you know, I've got this camera. I've got several attachments. I'm gonna probably do something pretty stupid. Right now, the camera is on what they called a floaty stick. And this camera is supposed to be waterproof. I'm almost too scared to try this, but I will. So that would be pretty cool. But, you know, they said it's pretty clear water. So... Oh, yep, she floats. And it's still recording. I'll be damned. Here, let me shake you out a little bit. Yeah. Alright, let's keep going. Got a pontoon to my right. You know what I probably should have brought with me is my head mount so you guys can see where I'm looking. Because I'm constantly looking around. I pull just for, not just forward, but I always have my head on the slope. the other things once you get into the open lake yeah a lot sharpier it is well, on time you know I was out on the lake just gently being rocked by the boat just gently and I fell asleep I fell asleep for a good 30 minutes. And boy, did I have to take a good paddling back to get over where I needed to be to get home. It's a nice partly cloudy day. It's in the low 80s. And there's supposed to be thunderstorms coming in this evening. This is just a neat little area. Eagle Mountain Lake, wow. So beautiful. Got houses on top of the mountain up there. That's pretty dang neat. Now it's getting a little bit more windy. And the water, and the water a little bit more choppy. Gotta try to stay above the water. <laughs> I 
That's the thing, difference between a sit-in and sit-on. The sit-in that I have, it's a little harder to get into if you fall out, but they are a heck of a lot more stable. Now, sit-ons are easier to get on, but they're easier to fall out of. <laughs> I'll catch, catch this out. That is beautiful right there. I guess everybody's waiting to get on to the stock over here. One reason why I was a little bit interested in Eagle Mountain Lake, supposedly a little bit of a beach here. Supposedly that's the hidden gem of this place. It's a little beach. Thought I might come and find it. probably would have been better off starting there but let's go ahead and turn back for a little bit I've been out on the lake for maybe 30 minutes now probably an hour you know how time flies when you're having fun pretty easy going coming out I think going back in is gonna be a little bit harder nope I decided to come just sit here for a bit Yeah, it's going to be harder to get back in because the current is pulling me behind. You think because I'm going the same way the waves are, it'll help push me forward? Well, a little bit. And they're pushing me towards the dang rock face. That's not where I want to be. But you know, the whole time I'm out here, anytime I'm in the kayak, you know what I'm doing, guys? Well, instead of paddling and being in a kayak, but for obvious reasons. But you know what? Pick your favorite Jimmy Buffett tune and start humming along. So that's what I got in my head right now. A little bit of Margaritaville. Oh, another tune I got stuck in my head, and I'll tell you this one. 
Zach Brown Band toes. Got my toes in the water. Butt in the sand. Not worrying in the world. And a cold drink in my hand. Now, I know that's not exactly the lyrics, but you get my drift. Don't know if you guys can see it right in front. It is a three tiered sailing boat. That is a very nice looking sailing boat. But you know, instead of just bringing out my kayak, I was thinking about getting a uh, I was actually thinking about renting one of those jet skis. Thought that would be dang fun to do. I still might this year. Or it might be next. But Grapevine Lake is shut down for boat rentals right now. And I haven't put in, able to put too much research in about boat rentals around here. But we've had so much rain that the water level has risen. So they're not going to risk their craft out on the water for liability reasons. Because there's so much stuff underneath the water. But that's the one thing about a kayak. No matter the water level, you can go there. It's not motorized. Remember a few years ago, that grapevine lake had risen from like, rose from 12 foot to like 17 foot in about a month. It flooded all the nearby banks, all the parks next by. There's a little park there that I usually jump in the water at. And the water was covering the parking lot where I usually sit. But I just took my kayak down off my car, start paddling along, nobody in sight. It's quite nice. You don't have to worry about anybody else. Now over to the right is where we started. But we got a couple of jet skis around. I don't want to get in the middle of that. Oh, hello little dragonfly. So, I've been at this for a few hours now, guys. Arms are getting tired. So I think I'll slowly paddle myself back. The sun coming out. Paddle's almost too hot to handle. Just have to duck it into the water for a little bit. Cool it right down. Water is nice. <laughs> Boat has a nice fuzzy captain. <laughs> and they're rocking out to Lincoln Park.